Tell me if you with it, cause I'm with it, babe I have it from you and I'm in it, babe Just tell me what to do and I get it, babe Gucci, I'm Paco Tripsy crib in the middle of the night I know that you miss me, has to put it down right Yeah, babe, I can put you on a flight You know that a nigga like me can change your life I did like this lazy makeup routine because I want to just put this hat on and it came out really really cute so this is my outfit so again I just put this black hat on that I got from Vegas my top that I got from Shein which is so cute some jeans and my blue Nike so that is today's vibe anyway y'all we are headed to work so i'm gonna talk to y'all when i get in the car because i want to talk about that grinder sandwich which was so fucking good y'all so good it's the weekend baby <laughs> y'all are so excited it's friday y'all be excited on fridays okay y'all can't tell me nothing on friday it's friday and it's a paid friday period but anyway you guys your girl made that viral tiktok sandwich last night and oh my gosh it was just so good it was so succulent like the juices was just oozing oh my gosh that sandwich is so good the only thing i regret is on the the video that i watched she ended up putting salt and pepper on like the um tomatoes and i i didn't like that because i can legit taste like the salt and I don't eat a lot of salt, so to me, it, it made the sandwich a little bit salty, so I ended up taking the tomatoes off. But other than that, it was so freaking good. Once I took the tomatoes off and I didn't taste the salt no more, the sandwich was amazing. Like, oh my gosh. And the meat and everything that I blended together was like, I made Aisha's a little bit different because she don't like salami meat. And I was a little bit nervous about the pepper jack um, cheese because it was like, jalapeno and i wasn't sure if it was like a spice i never had pepper jack cheese y'all know my my taste you know my little food stuff is very limited your girl is trying to expand okay so i've never had pepper jack cheese so i thought it was a little bit spicy but it wasn't nothing spicy on that damn sandwich it was just like but it just tasted a little bit different i can definitely tell like just those two changes in regards to the cheese and the meat made the the sandwich taste completely different but they were still both very good sandwiches i think mine's had a little bit more flavor but that's my opinion and i just let realize that i left the other half of it at home and i was so excited i was like i'm about to smash on this sandwich for lunch and i realized i left it at home so your girl might go back home and get that sandwich because it was good it was the fuck good okay if you have not made that sandwich girl go make it go make that baby tonight it, no make it tonight because it is good okay so anyway i don't know what we got planned this weekend it is actually little k's birthday on monday and they start school on tuesday usually he starts school around his birthday but they actually start on tuesday this year so don't really know what we want well what he wants to do because what he wants to do is ridiculous like he's talking about going to like a jump house the stuff he's talking about doing is stuff that we did when he was like eight and ten years old and it's like well you're about to be 17 years old we're not about to go go sit and jump in no trampoline place i mean that's cool but that's not that's not giving and i'd be wanting him to do stuff with like his friends but i don't know he has this fear social media just <laughs> 
I wish I would have kept my kids probably off social media because it just ruins if it ruins adults lives imagine what it freaking does to a child and it's just like it's so annoying I get so annoyed when he bring me stuff about social media like I get so mad he like you mean you're mad at me because of that because it's like I, I forget he's a child but it's just so simple-minded thinking and I can't get mad at him because it'd be adults that be thinking the same freaking thing but anyway that just got me off topic and low-key got me so upset anyway um he has this fear that nobody's gonna show up for him so if he invite like a bunch of his friends that nobody's gonna show up the kid has like so many friends so i don't understand why he has this fear that nobody would show up like dude you're inviting like five freaking people out of the 300 people you got watching your damn story you don't think five people gonna show up at least five is gonna show up if not more you feel me so i don't know what we're gonna do we'll probably just take him to some dinner place and then i might give him some money just to get additional clothes because you know he works well y'all probably don't know but he works with his father and his father told him that he has to buy all his school clothes. He ain't buying him nothing. So I was like, okay, well, since you would have to buy all your school clothes, you're going to have sneakers. And they be taking stuff, like, to and from the house. Like, whatever sneakers you have, like, that's your sneakers. I ain't going to buy that. I'll just buy your... I'll just buy your regular clothes. Like, regular clothes. What's regular clothes? I'll just buy, like, your outfits. But since... It's his birthday. He doesn't know what he wants. I'm thinking, like, maybe I'll just go buy him a pair of shoes as well. But, baby. His shoes be costing me, like, $200. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <sighs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Anyway, we're about to go to work. We are on time today because your girl just did, like, a little simple beat. So, we're on time today. I want to stop and get me a little energy drink. But I don't think I have enough time for that. So we just go ahead. We're going to knock out this beautiful day on lunch. We're going to go home and get our sandwich. And we're going to turn up. <laughs> Look, we're going to turn up. Girl, we're not turning up. I, I really, I really want to do something this weekend that's like exciting and fun. But I really don't know what we're going to do. I really don't. So y'all will be here on the journey. Period. But anyway, I'll see y'all a little bit later. I just wanted to introduce this weekend vlog off. And your girl will see y'all later. Ooh, girl, your girl is off, off, off of work. It's six o'clock. I stayed probably about 15 minutes past my shift. Nothing too crazy. Like, I got so much done today. Like, so much done. I'm down to like two and a half pages which is like 15 30 probably got about like 45 people to like move around and touch and then i would have been done like zeroed out of my activities meaning like i did everything that i was supposed to do today and that was scheduled to do zeroed out so i am actually really really proud of myself but i think i'm gonna go in early tomorrow like an early morning shift and just kind of work like a few hours just to get everything completely zeroed out so when monday comes it's like a fresh start and i don't have nothing too crazy so that is the plan for tomorrow and then i think i'm gonna do something tonight as well so i don't have to be there all day trying to work these pages so yeah, I'm about to go home, eat my sandwich because I actually end up skipping lunch altogether. I went to go grab like a pizza and then came back to my desk and worked at my desk. So I'm about to go home and eat my sandwich that I was craving for all day. I'm about to go home, warm that up, eat that. And then I'm thinking about going to the mall. Y'all be trying to do so many things and not enough time. Like I want to go to the mall because I want to finish like the kids stuff and just knock it out the way. And then I want to also work on my my work work and knock that out the way. But I also want to turn up because it's Friday. So, girl, we got to get our priorities together. Which one we going to do? Which one? Which one? <laughs> so, I guess we'll figure it out. But I just wanted to let you guys know your girl is on top of her shit. And she is very, very, very excited. And I have noticed. I haven't paid y'all i literally uploaded this week and kept it moving like i didn't pay attention to the views i didn't pay attention to the like like how the video was doing at all like i literally just uploaded the video if i got a comment 
you know you know talk to y'all in the comment section other than that i just kept it moving so i wasn't even paying attention and then today i was like okay let me see like how well the videos was doing for last week and i, I see we legit like the day in the life of a claims adjuster type videos and i feel like those videos are i guess i feel like they're so boring but i guess y'all like them so i'm gonna keep posting them y'all y'all seem to like it so i need to figure out like how to make this not be so mundane but maybe that's what y'all like i don't know i don't know but those videos do better on my channel than any of the other videos or other content that i post i just like beauty videos so i'm not gonna stop posting like my beauty videos because i love makeup i love getting ready with y'all i just really really enjoy those type of videos and it makes me happy so i'm gonna continue to do those period and i'm gonna continue to vlog because i enjoy vlogging so yeah so i'll just incorporate the other videos since y'all like those but anyway let me get off my little soapbox and i'm gonna talk to y'all later i just wanted to let you guys know i appreciate you very very much i do i do Nigga. Got every ex nigga mad and they big bitter Diamonds on the chain blingin' off my tits nigga I hit his phone, he gon' cover like a pitch nigga Whoa, give me pussy good so we been hooked He gon' see not with me, it's a big look Whoa, pop, body smokin' like a big blunt Some big dick, only thing that a bitch want Left a lot with a big body, thick dot All my niggas in the spot, you could get got This that 40 vaccine, you could get shot Since you wanna be smuttin' like a big shot This that pretty little joint from the south side Fuck a quarantine, all my niggas outside. If I'm sitting on your face, keep your mouth wide. Nigga, go hard, but be with my chow chow. Two step, 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 good morning happy happy sunday so your girl did not pick up this camera at all yesterday as you can see your girl did her hair and we spent all day yesterday shopping for the kids um rest of day school stuff so I've been dreading going to like the premium outlets because I didn't think they were going to have what I needed and they literally had everything that I was looking for. The unfortunate part is we literally got to go back because Kevin is, I guess, becoming a little bit more pickier than I thought because he didn't like half the stuff that we end up getting him. And one of the shoes. He said he can't fit, so I have to take him back. When he literally told me the size that he wear, it's not right. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all the two shirts. One of the shirts or, yeah. Two of the shirts that I just thought was so cute and he don't like. But I'm going to show y'all the shirt he does like that I thought was so ugly. <sighs> That's literally all on the floor. So, I really like this Converse All-Star shirt. It looks more yellow on camera, but it's that lime green color. And then I like the sneaker that said Converse. Thought that shirt was so fly. He does not like either of these shirts. This shirt I got from Shein. I thought it was so cheesy. It looks ugly to me. Like, I, I just was like, oh, I don't know if you'll like this shirt. He loves this shirt actually all three of them love the shirt so it's like you got him the best shirt this is ugly and the only reason why i got it is because it was seven dollars and i was like let me see if he liked this style because he kind of has like a different shirt that's kind of similar to this shirt and he wears it almost all the time and i was like let me get this and see if he like it i don't like it 
but they love it and i'm like oh my gosh so anything i think is ugly i think i'm gonna just buy for them but yeah so we're back off to phoenix which is like a good 30 to 40 minute drive to return those shirts and then his shoes which i don't see they must be behind me oh and then i got him some jeans from walmart which was like 16 dollars and I'm going to return those as well because we can't fit them. I actually like these jeans. Like, these jeans look kind of nice. So, I got these a black pair. And they kind of, they got the little, I like it because it kind of has, like, the cuts in the jeans. And they're, you know, they're stylish. And then, I just got him, like, an all, um, gray pair he likes both of the jeans he just can't fit those which is weird because he literally wore a pair of pants over in the same size i asked him what size he wore he told me 14 he literally came over in a pair of 14 jeans and i was like oh i don't know if i like the 14s on you he was like yeah but i think 16s is gonna be too big i like the way these fit they look too small for me but he liked it I gave him these. They fit the same way as the other ones. And he's like, these are too small. They fit the same as your old pair. But okay. So yeah, we're going to return those as well. So. <sighs> Kids. Okay, y'all. Heading out. But I wanted to say that pesto egg. I was about to say pesto chicken, but that pesto egg, mm, it was okay. It wasn't really giving what I thought it was going to give, but it was definitely okay. And I saw Kyra um, talk about it on her channel. She was like, if you're not putting pesto in everything you eat, you're definitely missing out. I can go without pesto and everything I eat because, I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, pesto this, pesto that, pesto, uh-uh. Uh uh, y'all can keep the little pesto on over there. That must be that, y'all. I feel like some of this should be for the white girls because pesto is not a black meal, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it's not giving, it's giving very Caucasian. Okay, I'm gonna leave that at that.